In this video I want to go over how to install and use the previous camera script version 1. So the first step is to go to mattworkman.com and find this blog post. Next you want to just take the script here and copy it. Then go back into Maya. Open your script editor, make sure it's a Mel script here. Paste it in. Select it. Select all of it. The middle mouse drag up to the shelf. Then you want to edit that same script is here. You have the shelf button that we just made and we want to give it a label. Call it PCAM. I already have one so I'm calling it PCAM2. And save. And then close this up. So now every time you click this button, the script will run. So what this script does is basically make a Maya camera with some preset definitions. And you can also choose where you want to make it. And I'll show you why this is helpful in a little bit. But the first setting is for an Arri Alexa. So it'll match the phone back for an Arri Alexa. Next is an Air is a Red Epic at 5K, and then a Red MX. I think that also works for if you're shooting 4K with the Epic. So I'm going to choose the Arri Alexa. And the second thing you can do here is choose it, choose to create the camera at the current view, or at the origin, which is 00, zero which isn't really too helpful. So for this demonstration, I'm going to always create here. So what you can do is I have a basic scene here and you can drag around in your perspective view and start making cameras. So I'm just going to make sure that you can see the cameras. So say if this is a frame we liked, I can click create camera and you see this green frame around, that means the camera is made already. So that's our wide shot. So say next we want to do a close-up of this guy. And he's talking to her. And say we like something roughly like that, create the camera really quick. And again this has the, the Alexa specs and it inherited the view from our from the viewport. So last here, let's do a shot of the actress here and we create camera. So now we have these three cameras that are made of our scene uh, pretty quick. So to clean those up we can go back and look at the first one. You see that they've been named camera Alexa 1, 2, and 3 so we'll go to the first one and turn on the film gates and this one we can clean up a little bit we can move it back here something like this and it's a little distracting so at this point we can turn off cameras that looks pretty good then we can go to our second shot again turn on the gate and select in the camera so this one's a little wide I think for a close-up over here we can change this to something like a 50 and zoom back in. I think something a shot like this makes a lot more sense. Not that we know what this scene's about, but kind of just roughly looking at it. Maybe go a little bit closer. Just make sure he's on the right side of the frame. The island looks right. Looks pretty good. Then we'll go to the last camera we just made. Feels a little close to start with, but we'll turn on the res gate. Again, change it to a 50. Kind of match what we did with the guy. Try to match her up like this. And there's our three shots. So we'll take it back real quick. So we have the first shot that looks like that. Kind of a boring wide into a, a single of the the actor and then a reverse. And we made these three angles pretty quickly and they're all to spec with the Alexa. So that's how this plugin works. I uh, hope it helps somebody in their previsiting and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.